understood what he just said. It's time to go to bed. Boy, that is one long movie. Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to My Expanded Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. Folks, it's time to go to another book by Karen Travis. It is Imperial Commando 501st. This one continues her storyline from Republic Commando, but now during the Imperial time. The Empire is now over, not the Republic. So what did I think about this book? Folks, it's no secret. I think I already told you this was my number two worst series ever. Um, I still couldn't get over the fact about the Jedi and the clone having the baby. Again, that just felt like very poor fan fiction and poorly written fan fiction. Um, a lot of people love this novel. Uh, let's, look, let's look at it first off. Uh, it ends on a cliffhanger, I'll tell you that, um, where some of the clones got away from Coruscant, some are stuck in the Imperial Army. Um, so you don't get any satisfactory ending to her uh, Republic Commandos, which is what everyone was hoping for, but they didn't get. Now, this wasn't supposed to be the last one. In fact, there was supposed to be an, at least one more where she was going to continue the story and maybe even wrap it up. Now, I think in the past, uh, she put out some notes, I think in an interview, about what she would have had happen. Uh, but she has a very negative attitude towards Star Wars. In fact, uh, a few years ago, I actually wrote her an email and asked her, if she had any notes on Imperial Commando 2 and if she'd be willing to share those because there's a lot of fans out there who'd love to see them. And she said, no, nothing she'd like to share. And I'd also ask her if, if Lucasfilm gave you the chance to finish the story, would you? She went, no, I would not. I would not work for them again. And it, it sounded a little bitter and I, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, there's an author who I talked to a, a, a long time ago who I won't mention his name, uh, said that he loves Karen Travis, but yet she is very passionate and maybe a little too zealous uh, for her own stories and doesn't appreciate people trying to change it and change her ways and tell her what not to do, which is exactly what Lucasfilm did, right? Because Filoni was writing that story about the Mandalorians being a peaceful civilization, and she didn't like that. She walked off. Um, stormed out and walked off because they didn't want her Mandalorian that she had created. Um, when I heard about this conflict, you know, Dave Filoni and Karen Travis, to me it was the lesser of two evils. I didn't know who was the lesser of two evils, actually. Um, I didn't appreciate, of course, you know, I didn't appreciate Filoni from straying from already established EU. Now, he claims in a behind-the-scenes uh, DVD commentary that was George all the way. But yet, every time we hear about George's involvement, it's about him putting stuff from the expanded universe into the series, like comic book characters, like Westing game material. Constantly, we are told uh, that George Lucas was the one that suggested EU elements be put in Clone Wars. So for him to do a 180 and say, no, nah, I don't think so, I think they're going to be peaceful. I think Filoni was just trying to shave off, you know, just put off the heat on George instead of him because he did get a lot of heat when that came out. Now the thing is I don't know why people still think this is a contradiction today because they've forgotten about Leland Chi's post on StarWars.com which was still up on the site last year uh, about the new Mandalorians basically talking about how they at one time during Filoni's Clone Wars tried to become a peaceful nation and it failed so they went back to their old warrior warlike blood-like people. And uh, so there was, they smoothed over it where both, you know, universes connected again. And Karen Travis, she would have just waited it out, would have been fine to probably write Imperial Commando 2 the way she wanted. But she was too impatient. Now, Sue Ristoni tried her best at the time to keep her on. She liked Karen Travis. She wanted to continue to work with her. She wanted more of these Republic stories. They already knew these were very popular stories, folks. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean everyone everyone didn't like it. No, a ton of people love these stories. Like I said, it's my number two on my worst uh, Star Wars books. Yet for just a lot of people, I see this as their number two best or number one even. I've had a few people name it their number one book series. They really like the Republic Commando books. I can understand why because she writes the action stuff is all good. The camaraderie before the clones is all good. 
but like it just the relationship between the clone and the Jedi stuck out like a sore thumb and it just soured the whole taste of those of that series for me. And that's just me. There's a lot of you who said, Matt, I don't feel that way. And I'm totally fine with that. And I'm totally fine. You, we don't have to agree, right? On every book. I hope not. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's where uh, I just like checked out by this time. I, I am upset to see that it didn't get finished. I was hoping they were going to bring in a different author to finish out the story and maybe he or she would straighten out the mess that Karen Travis had made. Um, it never got finished. Now, by someone who just am, am dying to know what happened, no, because if you folks know, later on in books, way later on in the timeline, Karen Travis did tell you what happened to them all. Now, she didn't tell you how they got to that point, uh, but she did tell, basically give them a happy ending in a way, just by mention. Now, one, I think it was a one-liner or whatnot. But anyway, uh, so should you read Imperial Commando? Yeah, if you like Republic Commando, then definitely you should read Imperial Commando. It's just it continues on the story of your favorite clone troopers. Um, don't be upset when it ends on a, I say cliffhanger, but it's just it doesn't finish. You know, things aren't done yet. There's still lots to do. And it, it's obvious it was just a part two or part three of a big, bigger series. But um, overall, if like I said, again, if you like Republic Commando, you'll probably like Imperial Commando. If you didn't like the Republic Commando series, if you're one of the few who were like me, then you probably won't like it. Now, I want to take this time to also talk about Karen Travis. Uh, Karen Travis was kind of unique where... On the forum, she would get into the forums, and uh, she would, you know, she just thought she was so cool. It was she acted like she was the, the quarterback, you know, at a high school game, you know, and the homecoming queen. She was all of it wrapped up in one. People worshipped her, and then there were people like me who dared to criticize. And I actually mentioned the whole fact. I, I didn't think a Jedi and a clone falling in love was realistic. Uh, nor was credible, you know, uh, believable, I should say, as part of that story. And, whoo, I got attacked by the queen herself. Um, she used to call a bunch of people who disagree with her Talifans, which the Taliban was out back then. So she said they were Talifans. They were just angry people. So there's someone else who we all know, another author, likes to complain about fans who don't like him. Um, but she would do that. She was kind of rude to some fans. Uh, who weren't that rude for you? They're, they're, for her, some even said, "I really like this. This is the only part I didn't like, or I don't. I didn't like this character." She went, "Well, uh, you probably wouldn't appreciate him because you don't know a good story when you need one. This is this is writing 101." I mean, she would just tear them down. Now, I just thought that was so unprofessional. And so, because I guess it's because of two things. Maybe the Jedi baby and the and the author herself is probably why I'm turned off from this series so much. Um, not to be too much of a negative Nancy, but there you have it. All right, folks, that's all the time I have for now. See you next time.